Hey you guys, welcome back to another video regarding the series I'm doing on my process on writing a novel from start to finish. If you've missed the first two videos, I will link them in the description box below for you guys to check them out because I had the idea that for NaNoWriMo, I wanted to write a new novel because it came to me and I thought it would be nice to record it, record my process in case you guys are also writing a novel and you don't know where to start or you're interested in seeing someone else's process or you just need a little inspiration. So that is what this series is all about. I've made a playlist. It's in the description box below and it's probably going to be a really um, long process because it's literally from idea to publishing. So there's a lot that goes on between that first initial idea and actually holding a physical book in your hand. So I hope you guys find this series interesting. It's going to probably be a year's worth of videos and I'm excited. But all right, so without further ado, let's get started on this actual video, which is my next process. The next step was for me to do the 15 beat sheet in Save the Cat Writes a Novel. I was going to do the characters because I was thinking that I might have needed to do the character profiles as far as like understanding the characters a little more, but I have a good grasp on the characters in their life based on the last video that I did. So make sure you go check that out. And um, I did tweak that a little bit, the summary that I did about the story. I did tweak it a little, which made me understand my characters a little more, who they are. So I haven't done the character, each character profile. And what I mean by that is like, you know, their ethnicity, their age, and their lifestyle and their color eyes and all that stuff but i kind of have a, an idea especially for the main characters all the other characters i will do that for and i will do it for the main characters but because i do have an idea of my two main characters i'm not worried about doing that yet i was more worried about the actual story and since i do like i said since i do know my characters it was easier for me to not only write the summary but now write the 15 beat sheet so we're gonna hop onto my computer real quick so I can show you the 15 beats that I grabbed from the book. Um, I'm not, I, I, this is a blank one because I didn't wanna share with you what I've written, except I will share with you the information on the beat number eight, which is fun in games, which reminds me, I'll probably mention this in every video just in case you're new to my channel or just in case you stumble across this video. I've done a whole series on Save the Cat Writes a Novel on the 15 beats. If you have not checked that series out, it's also linked below. It's a playlist on all the beats and that is what I am working on right now. So let's hop onto my computer and show you what that means a little more in detail and how i planned out the fun and games preliminary this can change as you're writing a novel if you know if you've written a novel before you know things change as you go and if you've never written a novel then know that maybe what you think of right now will change as you write your story because you start seeing that the story is going in a different direction or you start getting inspired by it to write something a little bit different and that's okay don't be um don't get stuck to thinking this is the way it has to be because it's not the way it has to be this is just for you to have an idea of where your story can go should go will go however you want to uh, picture it in your mind but this is just a guideline you don't have to be stuck to this so go ahead Let, let's go ahead and jump into my computer so you guys know what i'm talking about okay so here we go here are the 15 beats and save the cat writes a novel and the first thing you're going to tackle is the opening image this is a before snapshot of the main character or hero in your world the funny thing is that i actually completed all of the steps all of the beats except <laughs> the first beat and the last beat and that's because i feel like that's a very important uh beat and if you let me scroll down to beat number 15 this is going to be the final image should be a mirror 
um, a mirror to the opening image. So basically the same, but with the growth that your character has had throughout the novel. So I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to open it and how I wanted to mirror it. So I left the first beat and the last beat without finishing it and I need to do that. So I will go back to that, but all the other beats are completed. The second beat in act one is the theme stated. And I'm really happy because I've struggled in the past with this particular section, um, but I was able to get it right away this time. So I'm really happy about that. I have the theme stated in case you don't know, this is, I'm writing this novel in dual POVs, the male and the female character, like I've done with my other two novels. And I have the theme stated for both of them. I know exactly what their goal is, what their arc is going to be, and basically the theme of each of the characters. Next, we have the setup, which is an exploration of your hero status quo life and all its flaws. So this is where you're going to show your character's life before the novel gets started. This is where you're going to throw in hints of their flaws and their life as it is currently. So yeah, this is okay. So this is where we learn what the hero's life and world looks like before its epic transformation. So this is where you're going to show everything. Obviously not everything just everything that's pertinent to the novel so the next is going to be the catalyst and that's an inciting incident that happens to the hero which will catapult them into a new world or a new way of thinking so this is that moment where you know the moment they can't go back this is the catalyst something happens right at the start of the novel that you know that they start into then that takes them into the next beat, which is the debate. Do I go? Do I stay? Should I do this? Should I not? I'm sure you guys have read enough books to know that moment in each novel. You could probably pinpoint it to the T, the catalyst and the debate. So that's the first act is really, I think, the easiest thing to write because, I mean, this is what your novel is based on you know this 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 moment right here so then we jump into act two this is the break into two the moment the hero decides to accept the call to action leave their comfort zone and try something new this is when they venture into a new world or new way of thinking so this is going to take a little more thinking a little more um planning so make sure you have this one really thought out because it is going to take your character into the novel. So you want to make sure it's a nice transition. You want to make sure it's a smooth transition. You want to make sure it's it makes sense because this is what's going to drive the rest of the novel. Uh, beat number seven, it's the B story. This is the introduction to a new character or characters who will ultimately serve to help the hero learn the theme. So this is where you introduce a new character which is pretty much self-explanatory. Then we have, this is the part that I was telling you guys about that I wanted, I will share with you. And like I said, it might change. Beat number eight is the fun and games. This is where we see the hero in their new world, also called the promise of the premise. This section represents the hook of the story, why the reader picked up the novel in the first place. So for me, this is a Christmas story that I'm writing now and I will plan on publishing it next year. So this is where I'm going to insert all the Christmas fun. So right now, these are just ideas I had last night. I'm going to uh, show the characters buying the Christmas tree and then another scene where they're decorating the Christmas tree, then shopping for last minute gifts or secret Santas and maybe sledding or some adrenaline seeking activity, uh, playing board games, cooking or baking. So these are all scenes that's it's in the middle of the novel. First of all, it's exactly what this says. It's the reason why your character, why your readers picked up the book. If you are writing a story about a medical thriller per se, this is where you're going to insert a lot of medical stuff and thriller stuff. This is the 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 bulk of the story. It's the middle part that you know. Sometimes we get bored not only writing, but we also get bored reading. At least I do. Okay, so next we have beat number nine. And this is the midpoint, literally the middle of the novel where the fun and games 
um, culminates into either a false victory or a false defeat. Something should happen here to raise the stakes and push the hero toward real change. I hope this is big enough. I know last time, gosh, let me make it a little bigger. Um, okay, so this is where you're going to create some sort of problem that's going to lead to either a false victory or a false defeat and i go into more of this in the save the cat series so make sure you go check that out or even better buy the book because you know i mean i can't i can't tell you guys enough how much i love that book okay so beat number 10 is bad guys close in in the mid if the midpoint was a false victory this this section will be a downward trajectory where things get consistently worse for the hero. If the midpoint was a false defeat, this section will be an upward trajectory where things get seemingly better. Regardless of the trajectory, the hero's inner demons or internal bad guys are closing in. So this is also a very important part of the novel. This is why you need to know if whatever happened in the midpoint, is it a false victory or a false defeat? Because it's going to drive beat number 10. Then beat number 11 is where it's all lost. The lowest point of the novel, which is actually my favorite part to write. I love to write like the sappy, sad, like terrible things that is all is lost. Literally the all is lost moment. I love to write that part of the novel. So this is the lowest point of the novel. This is an action beat where something happens to the hero that combined with those internal bad guys pushes them to rock bottom. So I don't know if you're like me, but this is such a fun thing for me to write. So make sure you put a lot of thought into what this means and how your character is going to not only feel, but remember that it's an action beat. So something is happening. You're not just, it's not a dialogue thing, um, a dialogue scene, and it's not a um, description scene. It is an action beat. Next, we have beat number 12, which is the dark night of the soul. Another reaction beat similar to the debate. So this is similar to the debate. It's that moment where your character is going to say, um, all right, things aren't working out. Okay, so let me just read it and then we'll go from there. So another reaction beat similar to the debate where the hero takes a moment to react to everything that's happened leading up to this moment, the darkest night before the dawn. This is the moment right before the hero figures out the solution to their big problem and learns the theme. So that's why it's important to know the theme because this is where it's going to play in. So this is that moment where your hero starts, it's like a, like it said, similar to the debate. Should I, con I can't continue living like this. I can't continue doing this. And now what should I do? And this is what I'm going to do. That takes you into beat uh, act three, beat 13, break into three. So this is the aha moment that hero realizes that they, what they must do to not only fix all the problems they created in act two, but more importantly, fix themselves. Again, this is why it's important to know the theme and how you're going, what their big flaw is, what their big problem is, because this is where you're going to fix it. Next, we go into beat 14, which is the finale. The hero proves they have truly learned their theme and enacts a plan that they came up with in Break Into Three. Bad guys are destroyed, inner demons are conquered, lovers are reunited, the hero's world is not only saved, it's better, it's a better place than it was before. So this is that moment where everything comes together, you're wrapping up the novel, you're finishing it up, and then the final image, beat 15, is a mirror to the opening image. This is the closing snapshot of who the hero is now and now that he's gone through this epic and satisfying transformation. So you want to make sure that it's a huge contrast to the opening image, but similar. Um, I wish I could explain to you the opening image and the closing image in this one because I thought it was perfect. So if you guys have not read my book, Choose Us, you can pick it up on Amazon. You can read it on Kindle. 
and it's available now. I've the reason this has this weird not for sale, not for resale is because I haven't ordered um I haven't received my copies yet. They're coming, so I'm excited for that. But anyway, aside from that, I hope that you understand how important these beats are and why I fell in love with the Save the Cat book because I think it just makes writing so much easier. All right, so that was my process last night. I didn't record I didn't record last night because I actually was thinking about the novel all day long and I didn't get to write something down to like nearly eight o'clock and at that point I was kind of like, oh, I'm not gonna record it now, I'll record it tomorrow. So today what I'm thinking I'm going to do, I'm going to really think about this first, the opening image and the final image and if that goes well, I think I'll finally put some words down. Like I said at the beginning on my first video, I should have a first draft by the end of November if all goes well, but I'm not really, I haven't even started writing it. It's November 6th. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I'll get the 50K. I'm not really worried about the 50K. For me, it's more about getting a first draft down. So we'll see how today goes. I do have a slight migraine and I did take medication today, but it hasn't kicked in as fast as it normally does. So I don't know if I'll get to this working on it today. If I get inspired to, I will. If not, you know, tomorrow's another day. But yeah, that is it. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Remember to hit the notification bell because I will be uploading videos sporadically especially throughout November while I am working through this process. And um, yeah, that's it. Make sure you hit the like button if you found this video helpful. And I will see you guys again in a brand new video next time. Until then, stay safe.